Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Tanmay Dattu, Assistant Professor of Biochemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Today, I am going to teach you about different pathway of DNA repair in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells under the paper Molecular Biology, Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology. So students, let us see what we are going to learn in this module. The first one is to understand the different mode of DNA repair system. The second one is to understand how photoreactivation repairs DNA damage. The third one is to understand the base and nucleotide excision repair pathway. And finally, we will learn double strand break repair pathway. In this lecture, we will focus on the mechanism of how different DNA repair machinery identify the DNA damages and repair by correct nucleotides. Each of the different kind of damages are recognized by specific repair system which contains either a single or multiple repair proteins. The maintenance of chromosomal integrity requires the repair of damaged part of the DNA before it is transferred to daughter cells after cell division. Cells with defective DNA repair system are unable to repair the damaged side of the DNA which results in permanent alteration of DNA bases leading to gene mutation. Consequences of mutation of essential genes of the cell are lethal for its survival. The presence of great variety of repair mechanisms in simple organisms like Escherichia coli identifies its great physiological importance. These systems involve the action of a single enzyme which can eliminate the wrongly incorporated nucleotides with the correct one or a series of enzymes acting at the damage site to excise and repair the damaged segment of DNA. This module is dedicated to examine different DNA repair pathways, how cells excise and replace damaged segment of DNA with correct nucleotides. In this section, we will learn how DNA damage is repaired by photoreactivation process. Damage on DNA at a particular site can be repaired by a single catalytic reaction. Reports show that enzyme identifies and reverses certain types of damage on DNA. One of such kind of DNA damage by UV irradiation is the formation of pyrimidine dimers which can be repaired to their monomeric forms by a process called photoreactivation. In that process, an enzyme known as DNA photolyze catalyzes the reversal reaction to restore the original DNA sequence. This protein with molecular weight of 55 to 65 kD is active in its monomeric form and prevalent in many prokaryotes and eukaryotes but not in humans. Different prosthetic groups present in DNA photolyze help repair the damaged site by a single catalytic reaction. Model in the left side show how thymine dimer can be repaired in one catalytic step by the enzyme photolyze. Right side of the model shows the steps of photoreactivation and catalysis. Two prosthetic groups are present in photolyze, a light absorbing cofactor and FADH. The mechanism of photoreactivation in the E. coli enzyme involves the excitation of light absorbing cofactor which is 
N5, N10 methanyl tetrahydrofolate by absorbing UV visible light at 300 to 500 nanometer, followed by transfer of the excitation energy to the FADH. Finally, an electron is transferred from FADH to the pyrimidine dimer, thereby splitting it. FADH at the end is reduced by resulting pyrimidine anion to regenerate the enzyme. Apart from photolyze actions, there are many DNA repair systems are present in the cells. One of such mechanism is present in the cell which involves to fix the replication error. Any misincorporation of nucleotides during replication which elude the proofreading activity of DNA polymerases can be replaced with a correct nucleotide by a repair mechanism known as mismatch repair. One per 10 to the power 5 nucleotides is mistakenly incorporated during re replication by DNA polymerase. The proofreading activity of which increases the fidelity of DNA replication by 100 fold with the removal of a mispaired nucleotides before further extension of the DNA strand. Moreover, up to 4 nucleotide insertion or deletions which is arised from the slippage of one DNA strand relative to the other in the active site of DNA polymerase can also be corrected by DNA mismatch repair mechanism. Slippage of DNA strand over other happens at a particular region of DNA which contains the sequence motif reached in poly CA or poly A. All these different kind of incidents which leads to misincorporation of nucleotides can produce permanent mutation if not repaired. Therefore, cells with impaired mismatch repair system will have high mutation rate and if that happens in essential genes will have will be lethal to cell survival. Reports show that defects in human mismatch repair system results in frequent incidence of cancer, most notably hereditary non polyposis collateral cancer syndrome. Several organs are highly affected in this syndrome, which may be the most common inherited predisposition to cancer. Up to this point, we have learned how a single step repair process fixes damaged bases in DNA. However, not all types of DNA damage can be repaired by a single step. Some repair pathway essentially involve a series of enzymes, each of which performs a specific job in the complete repair process. One of such repair process is known as base excision repair, which is operative in an identical mechanism in almost all living cells. Apart from base excision repair, another example of such repair mechanism is nucleotide excision repair. The mechanism of both are described in the following sections. This section shows how different enzymes are involved in the base excision repair pathway to remove damaged DNA bases. Base excision repair pathway starts with the removal of the damaged base by a variety of DNA glycosylases which are present in the cell. DNA glycosylase cleaves the glycosidic bond linking deoxyribose to altered nucleotides resulting in the generation of a deoxyribose residue without any attached base which is called apurinic or apyrimidinic sites or ap site or a basic sites. This situation can also be occasionally found after the spontaneous hydrolysis of glycosidic bonds. An enzyme AP endonuclease then cleaves off one side of the deoxyribose residue which along with some adjacent residues are removed by some exonucleases possibly associated with DNA polymerase. 
the gap generated by exonuclease action finally filled by DNA polymerase and the nick is sealed by DNA ligase. Base excision repair which is found to be the most frequent type of DNA repair system contains a glycosylase that identifies oxidized guanine nucleotide 8 oxoguanine Another example of such enzyme is uracil DNA glycosylase which excises uracil residues which arise from cytosine deamination as well as the occasional misincorporation of uracil instead of thymine into DNA. A basic sites in mammalian DNA have cytotoxic effect because mammalian topoisomerase 1 is trapped irreversibly in its covalent complex with DNA. In addition to that, since the sugar moiety at a basic site is devoid of a glycosidic bond which can convert it to its linear form, whose aldehyde group is very reactive and can cross link to other cell components. This rationalizes why AP sites are tightly bound to UDG in solution. In addition to the base excision repair, another mechanism is also operative to remove damaged DNA segment, which is known as nucleotide excision repair. Any kind of distortion in DNA helix rather than any mistakenly incorporated nucleotide are recognized and responded by this repair system. There are reports showing that nucleotide excision repair plays the major defense against two important carcinogens, sunlight and tobacco smoke in human. In bacteria like E. coli, nucleotide excision repair is an ATP dependent process where the action of UVRA, UVRB and UVRC proteins which are the products of UVRA, B, C genes are required to repair the helix dis distortion in DNA. This pathway is often referred to as the UVR-ABC endonuclease repair pathway, which is responsible for the cleavage of the damaged part of the DNA strand at the seventh and at the third or fourth phosphodiesterase bonds from the lesions five prime and three prime sites, respectively. The DNA segment of 11 or 12 nucleotide long containing damaged part is excised by UVR ABC endonuclease and then displaced by a helicase UVR D. In this mechanism, a heterotrimary complex consisting of UVR A2 and UVR B recognizes a pyrimidine dimer or other damaged sites of the DNA. UVR dissociates from the complex after damage site recognition with the expense of the ATP hydrolysis. Endonuclease UVRC then joins UVRC, UVRB and make a 5' incision at a distance of 7 nucleotide from the damage site and another 3' incision which is 3 to 4 nucleotide away from the damage site. This step also requires energy from ATP hydrolysis. A helicase UVRD then helps unwind and release the single strand between two curves. The gap is then filled by the action of DNA polymerase 1 and DNA ligase seals the nick at the end. Defective nucleotide excision repair pathway causes genetic disorder like xeroderma pigmentosum. A segment of 30 nucleotide long DNA can be excised out by eukaryotic nucleotide excision repair system which contains nearly 16 different proteins. The proteins are conserved in eukaryotic system however they don't show any sequence similarity with prokaryotic proteins although they are doing the same kind of functions. This suggests that the two nucleotide excision repair systems evolved in convergent pathway. Malfunction of any one of these enzyme in human pathway 
have been identified through mutations that are manifested as two genetic diseases. Xeroderma pigmentosum is one of such diseases mainly inherited from ancestors to the descendants and is associated with the impaired nucleotide excision repair system in skin cells where the skin cells are unable to repair UV induced DNA lesions. Individuals with autosomal recessive condition to xeroderma pigmentosum are extremely sensitive to sunlight. Skin during infancy changes such as excessive freckling, dryness and keratosis which is a type of skin tumor together with eye damage such as opacification and ulceration of the cornea. Moreover, cells with impaired nucleotide excision repair system often overlap, develop fatal skin cancer at nearly 2000 fold greater rate than normal and internal cancer at a 10 to 20 fold increased rate. Reports show that many individuals with xeroderma pigmentosum also are prone to develop many physiological dysfunction including neurological degeneration and developmental deficits. Another disease happens due to the impaired nucleotide excision repair system known as cocaine syndrome. Cocaine syndrome is another inherited disease which is also associated with defective NER. This disease is developed from defects in the same three genes that are defective in xeroderma pigmentosum as well as in two additional genes. Individuals with cocaine syndrome develop hypersensitivity to UV radiations and exhibit stunted growth. Other effects include neurological dysfunction as a result of neuron demelination and the appearance of premature aging but intriguingly have a normal incidence of skin cancer. AP endonuclease enhances UDG activity which is the following enzyme in base excision repair pathway. However, two enzymes do not interact in the absence of DNA. This further suggests that an ABC site is always bound to UDG thereby protecting the cell from the AP site's cytotoxic effects. This is very likely that other DNA damage specific glyoxalases function in an identical pathway. Another interesting question is why does not DNA contain uracil? Three of the deoxynucleotide bases in DNA that is adenine, guanine and cytosine also occur as a ribonucleotide basis in RNA. The fourth deoxynucleotide base, thymine, is synthesized at a considerable metabolic effort from uracil, which occurs in RNA. Since uracil and thymine have identical base pairing properties, why do cells bother to synthesize thymine at all? This enigma was solved by the conversion of cytosine to uracil by deamination, either spontaneously or by reaction with nitrites. If uracil were a normal DNA base, the deamination of cytosine would be highly mutagenic because there would be no indication of whether the resulting mismatched GU base pair had initially been GC or GAU. Since thymine is DNA's normal base, however, any uracil in DNA is almost certainly a deaminated cytosine and can be removed by uracil DNA glycosylase. Uracil DNA glycosylase also has an important function in DNA replication. Deoxy UTP, an intermediate of deoxy TTP synthesis, is present in all cells in small amounts. 
DNA polymerases do not discriminate well between DUTP and DTTP, both of which can base pair with template A's. Consequently, newly synthesized DNA contains an occasional uracil. These uracils are rapidly replaced by thymine through base excision repair. The defective proteins in CS syndrome normally recognize a halted RNA polymerase at a damaged or distorted DNA template. To resume halted transcription process, the stalled RNA polymerase should be removed so that nucleotide excision repair system can repair the damaged part of the DNA which causes the helix distortion. Individuals with Cocaine syndrome cannot repair, which causes the cell to go through programmed cell death or apoptosis. The death of cells, which are transcriptionally active, may account for the developmental symptoms of cocaine syndrome. Until this point, we have learned different sites of DNA backbone prone to be damaged and how a radiation induces. The formation of pyrimidine dimer in a cell with impaired system, this kind of DNA damage can lead to cancer formation. DNA damage oftentimes causes double strand break, which should be repaired, otherwise, replication machinery will be stalled at the site of double strand break. In this section, we will learn how double strand break is repaired by different repair enzymes. The repair enzyme which fix this break and make a normal continuous DNA requires the action of a multi-enzyme complex REC BCD protein in a Sericea coli. This complex is a 330 KD heterotrimeric product of its genes REC B, REC C and REC D. The proteins have both helicase and nuclease activities and binds to double strand break site of DNA and then with its helicase function unwinds double stranded DNA with the expense of ATP. Its nucleus activity degrades the unwound single strands and move forward until they encounter a chai site on DNA from its 3' end. Chai site is very specific sequence of GCT, GGT, GG occurs after every 5 kilobases in E. coli genome. Once REG BCD reaches chai sequence, it stops trimming from 3' end of the strands and increases the rate of cleavage from the 5' end of the strand, thereby generating a 3' end single strand overhang to which Recombination inducing protein REK binds to form a filamentous structure. This fact also explains why regions containing chai sequences have elevated rates of recombination. REK, a recombination inducing protein, is recruited by REK B protein and is also nucleated to the 3' overhang of the DNA strand. REC A in association with 3' overhang of DNA strand scan both the strand of an undamaged DNA to identify the complementary sequence to the overhang and then direct to exchange strand forming a branch point. Using both strand of undamaged strands as a template, the gaps generated by the action of REC BCD are filled by DNA polymerase followed by the action of DNA ligase which seals the nick. In this section we will learn how SOS responsive genes are expressed. SOS response is mutagenic in Escherichia coli. DNA damaging agents in E. coli induce a complex system of cellular changes which is known as the SOS response. In this condition, cell division is stopped and cells ability to repair DNA damage is increased. 
a repressure protein called LEX-A and a DNA binding protein REC-A which is also a key player in homologous recombination regulates the activity of the source response. REC-A protein is also involved in DNA repair after replication. Under normal physiological condition, LEX-A represses source gene expression. However, when DNA is not completely replicated due to DNA damage, the resulting single strands bind to REC-A to form a filamentous complex that activates LEX-A to cleave and thereby inactive itself. Once the repression is removed, Due to the damage signal mediated by RAKE, different SOS genes start to express. In bacteria, there are nearly 40 different kinds of source genes can be expressed, which includes RAKE and LEXA, as well as the nucleotide excitation repair genes like UVRA and UVRB. Again, in the absence of any DNA damaging agents, the DNA RAKE complex is no longer present. So the expression of the source genes are repressed by the newly synthesized LEXA. The source repair system is error prone and consequently mutagenic. Cells have two general mechanisms to repair double strand breaks. Recombination repair and non-homologous end joining. Here we discuss non-homologous end joining which is a process at its name implies directly rejoins double strand breaks. In non homologous end joining, the ends of the broken DNA must be aligned, frayed ends trimmed off or filled in, and the strands ligated. The core of the end joining machinery in eukaryotes include the proteins Qu, which is a heterodimer of homologous 70 and 83 KD subunits KU70 and KU80 which appears to be the cell's broken DNA sensor. The X-ray structure of KU in complex with a 14 base pair DNA determined by Jonathan Goldberg reveals that the protein cradles the double stranded DNA segment along its entire length of encircles its central nearly three base pair segment. Q makes no specific contacts with the DNA's bases and few with its backbone but instead fits snugly into major and minor groups. KU DNA complexes dimerize so as to align both halves of a double strand break while leaving the strand ends accessible to nucleages, polymerages and ligages. Nucleotide trimming of course generates mutation but an impaired double strand break would be even more detrimental to the cell. The reason that the mutation generated by NHEJ are usually not unacceptable deleterious is that only a small fraction of the mammalian genome is expressed. In fact, the genome in a somatic cell of a 70 years old human typically contain nearly 2000 scars caused by non-homologous end joining. Multiple pathways of DNA repair exist in the cells to ensure that the correct genetic information should flow to the descendants. Otherwise, Individuals carrying a defective repair process develops genetic disorder like xeroderma pigmentosum and cocaine syndrome. So students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The first thing we learned, different kind of DNA repair process in the cells. The second one is very important, the mechanism of DNA repair by different DNA repair pathways and then we learned how SOS response induce a repair mechanism and then finally we learned impaired repair system leads to genetic disorder. So in this lecture we have learned about different physiological 
and environmental factors that causes DNA damage. How DNA bases are altered in the damaged condition and how DNA damage induces mutation in a gene if the repair system is impaired. Mutagenesis of some essential genes can lead to cancer formation and can generate some other kind of lethal effect. Thank you.